Oh man, definitely in need of some toolboxes in my tool shed. Ugh. Can't wait to get rid of this thing. What's up guys, coming at you with the old Craftsman box here. Yeah, definitely can't wait to get rid of this thing. Oh man, yeah, this is all I got at the moment at the tool shed here, but uh, I was at least able to fit three packs here of the OEM Tools socket holders here. OEM Tools sent this out to me in a large box, so I decided to separate these videos into uh, several videos because, uh, yeah, it was very time consuming taking out each of uh, these three pack, three individual units out of each box and unwrapping them all. So I did the courtesy of this video, taking them all out for you in one shot here. And yeah, cool that they sent them out to me as well because um, yeah, a lot of things are starting to run out. Things are starting to short out lately and it's cool to see another brand. Uh, and I do have a large history of organizational items for your toolbox. So it all comes into play here to show you. Yeah, so yeah, definitely if you can't find another brand, at least OEM Tools has a color in what you need to find. Uh, unfortunately, the green and the red are, are standard only, and then the, the blue and the black are metric only. So, uh, unfortunately, you can't change the color of any of these. So, uh, standard, standard, metric, metric. So, here's the black back here. We're going to be measuring the black actually here first. It's easier for me to grab. These are rather strong already right off the bat here. I can notice um, the length of each of all these, standard and metric are 14 and three quarters length. So all of them are the same length. And uh, this one actually is the half inch. So it is, it is uh, one and a quarter. The three eighths has the deep holders in the back. So it runs a little higher. So it's one and a half. And the quarter inch holder with the shallow and the deep is almost one and a half. And it is, yeah, all, all the quarters are the same as well. So we have nine and a quarter length. Yeah, so the width on all the quarter inch ones is two and an eighth. And yeah, with all these, yeah, three and a half, same as this one, three and a half as well. So there's the measurements. The metric holds 75, I believe. And there's no skips. So the, uh, start off here with a three eighths here. So you get six to 20 in the three eighths. So shallow and deep six to 20, no skips on the three eighths. It's a half inch. Uh, I don't know what that is. If anybody can comment down below, I don't know what AD means as a socket adapter. It's a little smaller than the rest. Uh, it's kind of strange, like an elbow or something. Um, yeah, let me know down below what AD means. I don't, I've never seen that before. It's kind of strange. Um, 10 all the way to 20, then you go to 21. Yeah, no skips. You can even get 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, 10 all the way to 27. No skips. That is nice for the half inch right there. And then on the uh, quarter inch, you get the four and a half. Yeah, 4.5 and a 5.5 all the way to 14. There's no 15, unfortunately. So yeah, only to 14. And so the deep, yeah, here's the shallow, here's the deep. So you get the crossways action on these. Pretty cool. Yeah, so same with all of them. The standard, I'm gonna have to pull one of these out. And these magnets are strong. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so yeah, the standard, um, yeah, before I pull those out, let's look at the standard here. We get one eighth all the way to five eighths. So one eighths here, one eighths here, five eighths all the way to, yeah, five eighths. So we get 68 in total on the standard. Oh my gosh, he's just, oh, there we go. <laughs> A half inch, we get <laughs> uh, three eighths all the way to one and a quarter, which is nice. And again, we have the AD here. And oh my gosh, the, <laughs> the three eighths on the standard here is quarter inch all the way to one inch. So one inch, that's cool. And yeah, lovely green, lots of green with OEM tools. So they are known for their green stuff. Yeah, definitely cool on that. Uh, let's put some sockets in there. I got some quarters here handy. I got sockets 
everywhere. So it's like they're scattered. So this is all I have right now. If I could just quickly show you how they hold. These are impact sockets. So this is the pretty much the thickest they get. Like, I know the capris are kind of thin, but uh, yeah, there you go on the impact sockets. And yeah, hold them upside down. And then you can put them sideways if you have a cart. And sideways, they will hold. And let's put a deep on the shallow section here, just to prove it. It will, these are tapered down at the end, so even with the taper, it kind of holds. So yeah, pretty strong. And yeah, the uh, material, looks like it's cut right there. That's the most uh, blemish I've seen on the edges they do have to cut it so that's that's about it on that nice smooth surface there so if you have a bare metal like this yeah definitely it will hold super nicely um let's try some other sockets here i have a snk chrome 21 and uh, that's a half inch so 21 there's how the chrome fits so plenty of space and that will definitely not fall out so that is cool right there. And uh, what else? Yeah, not much else to say. There's just your plain Jane magnetic uh, tray set here. Uh, lots of brands out there. And uh, yeah, definitely a lot of competition, but there is a shortage of a lot of stuff. So it's cool to show you on all these. Um, yeah, the, these will not move in your tray. And I believe with the vinyl or a cushion on them, they'll still hold because they're smooth on the bottom. So they'll they'll get some weight on that vinyl, whatever you got cushion going on at the bottom. So they'll they'll hold your stuff straight because of how flat it is. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, cool to look into these if uh, your options have ran out. It's nice to have other options here. And once again, guys. Thank you for watching and on to the next.